What's up guys, Rexon34 back with more Battles of Legend Armageddon and we're going to be searching for more Utopia and not only are we searching for Utopia, we're battling Rhyme Style yet again. So far we are 0-2 against Rhyme Style. We opened up Retro Pack 1, we opened up Retro Pack 2. Both times he beat us, not because he really pulled that great, but because we pulled really badly. So I think in this battle, I'm hoping that we both pull really awesome, but we pull better and we win. So that's kind of the goal. We're going to try and win this battle. The giveaway for this video, I'll be giving away a Lord of D from SDK. This one's a little bit, um, it looks like an older print, faded, not faded, but like, you know, what I, I don't really know how to describe it, but it looks like an older one. It looks like an original SDK, not like a 2004 one, which is pretty cool. We have Elemental Hero, Nebula Neo, Secret Rare, and Agora's Emissary of Darkness. This one is the one we got from that blister in the 15k special. It is a little bit bent, but still straight out of the blister, so pretty cool. Check out the 15k special up in the eye. It was a pretty awesome opening of Champion Pack 3. So if you're interested in that, make sure you go watch that video after this one. All right, so let's get into, we have two booster boxes, Battles of Legend Armageddon. These will make my 19th and 20th. If you count blisters, just in sheer number of packs, basically my 20th and 19th and 20th booster boxes of this set. We've already pulled 10K, so we're really just pushing our luck at this point, trying to pull Utopia. Rhyme Style said he doesn't even really like Utopia, so I will gladly pull it for him. Let's just do that and let's get into it. Hopefully you guys will enjoy this search and this battle and make sure you guys go check out his video he will be opening up two booster boxes as well so we're we've got a small chance to pull a, a great card we're and then we said in terms of who will win basically if you pull a chaos emperor dragon of armageddon and the other person doesn't pull that or a starlight then you would win and or if you pulled a starlight that would win but if we both pulled like both pulled a ced or both pulled a starlight then it would be up to you guys so here we go let's get into it Hopefully we can pull some good cards. Last time I did an opening, we didn't pull any Invocation or CED, so I'm hoping that we'll pull some of those. We also have a little bit of a good luck charm over here. A CED Seeker Rare. Maybe that'll give us some luck. We'll pull that cover card. I would love to see another one. Fire Flint Lady. So we're, I'm going to try and pull out all the nice Ultra Rares for later. We got a number F0. F, what was F? What did F stand for? Did you guys tell me? I can't remember if you told me what F meant. All right, yeah, I, I know C is chaos. I know that. Okay, here we go. Mega Phantom Beast O-Line and a Numeron Network. This is a good start. That is one of the best secrets. Let's see, let's see if we can grab this. Okay, yeah. Numeron Network, that's pretty epic. So, so far we've pulled a, already we've pulled Fire Flint Lady, O-Lion, and Numeron Network. So that's some really good cards out of here. Obviously our number one pull would be 10K Dragon, Utopia, then we'd want the Chaos Emperor Dragon, Invocation, and then pretty much Numeron Network or uh, Fossil Warrior Skull Knight. And there's a Skull Bone, not quite the Skull Knight that we're looking for. We do have about a 1 in what? 1 in 25 chance to pull a specific Starlight or 10K Dragon. So not, not very good. Numeron Calling, this is a good box so far. Yeah, I'm back to my penny sleeves. I know, guys. I know I was using the other ones. But for these, I usually put up all of these kind of cards for sale. Because I'm not interested in... Well, not that I'm not interested. It's just I don't play the meta. So I don't really need the Numeron cards. So I sell those off to help me pay for other openings. Like You guys love to ask me, how do you pay for these openings? That's how. Fossil Warrior Skull King. Okay. So if we pulled something like the Utopia, that would be a card I would send in to get graded. Because I really would love to grade that. My, by the way, my 10k dragon is on the way to PSA. Actually, it's at PSA right now. They just haven't logged it yet. Oh, Chaos Emperor Dragon of Armageddon. So there we go. We now have the lead against Rhyme Style. I don't know what he's going to pull, but this puts us in a winning position if he doesn't pull one or a Starlight. Chaos Emperor Dragon of Armageddon. My fifth one, actually. Overall, we open the case, and then we open all those other booster boxes. So five out of 19 boxes so far. Not too great, but I'm, I am I really like this card, and I've been hanging on to my other ones because I just think they look really awesome. So we're definitely going to like that card. Actually, since this is a card I'm going to keep, we can pull out the ultimate. What do we call these again? Dragon Shield. There we go. Dragon Shield Sleeve. So that one will be going in the binder with the other four copies I have. Who knows how many I'll hold on to. I mean, they've gone down a little bit in price, but I don't really care. I just kind of like the card. Here we go. Maybe we can... This So far, this box has been fantastic. So, Numeron Wall, that's really good. Well, not really good, but it's good. 
We've pulled Numeron Calling, Numeron Network, and Chaos Emperor Dragon, so that's pretty awesome. I don't think Numeron cards are short printed though, so that's not like crazy to pull those, but it still is nice. Here we go. Got your Book of Moon. Glacial Beast Polar Penguin. I always pull out the Book of Moons just so I can put them in my goat stash. I do have an entire, like, big old box of goat stuff. Can't have too much. Here we go. A ju oh, Judgment, the Dragon of Heaven. That's a good one. It's a nice solid dollar, but, I mean, it's a one of the pack cover cards. It's pretty epic. So, I'd say so far, this has been a really good box compared to the last, like, 30-something packs I opened. They were the last video. You guys can go check that one out, out up there. It was okay, but we didn't pull this good, I would say. Go your Guardian. Skull Gaios. This is only half of the first box, so this is definitely a good start. If this can keep up, we might actually get close to breaking even. I paid like 100 bucks plus tax for these boxes, so they were not cheap. I had to get them at the, you know, the current market price. I couldn't get them cheaper like before. Like when I opened the case, I opened like the boxes at $55 a box rather than 100 but when you buy later, that's kind of what happens. Also, I wanted to, I don't know if Rise of the Duelist will be out yet. By the time, it probably will be out by the time we post this. But I will be opening a case of that and hopefully some more, um, so hopefully some of the uh, boxes before that. Because I pre-ordered one box. I pre-ordered a case, stuff like that. So you should be seeing some Rise of the Duelist. Hopefully we can pull a DD Crow Starlight Rare. That would be really, really cool. But super hard to pull that. So I'm not going to be too surprised if we don't. Invocation! Look at this box. This box is epic. We got an Invocation and we got a Chaos Emperor Dragon of Armageddon. If we pulled a Starlight in this box, this would be the ultimate box. This is crazy. So we pulled the two best secrets already in the first box. Here we go. Let's see what we can pull. We got a number F0. Yeah, this has been an extremely good box so far. And the funny thing is, even with all that, we're not, we haven't broken even. We're, we're probably getting, probably getting about 75%. Miracle Rupture. But we are not broken even yet because these boxes are really expensive and really the, there's not too many like big money cards. There's like a lot of solid value and a lot of big money. So it's pretty tough to break even. Medulce and Jelly, that's a nice secret rare. Here we go. So far, I'm feeling pretty good about this battle unless, he, you know, he can always hit the home run. He can hit a Utopia or he could hit the, the 10k Dragon and then we would be basically finished. No matter what we pull, we could pull a Chaos Ember Dragon in every pack and we'd be in trouble. There's a Skull King. It's not a Skull Knight. That's the one we're really looking for. All right. But Chaos Ember Dragon, first, first box, I'm feeling pretty good about it. Ooh, Danger Jackalope, another decent secret rare. So far, almost all of our secrets have been decent, so that is pretty nice. Definitely a solid box, nothing to complain about here. Okay. Here we go. Numeron Wall. Specimen Inspection, secret rare. We're down to the last few packs of this first box. We still have another box coming up, guys. Can we make a crazy epic pull? That would be fantastic. I would love it. Artifact Sanctum. Nice ultra rare. Book of Moon. And Eskiri Dao. I still don't know if that's how you say that. At this point. I don't think any of you guys have corrected me. So maybe that is close-ish. Or it's not annoying you guys enough to comment at least. <laughs> okay. Here we go. Chaos Neos. Weathering Soldier. I don't really even remember that guy. Must not be too impactful. I've opened so many packs and I don't remember him. Okay. Psychic Wave. Glacial Beast, Blizzard Wolf. We got two packs left in this really solid box. We pulled almost everything. We haven't pulled a Cross Sheet, Ultra Rare, and we haven't pulled Skull Knight. That's like about it for anything we could want. Powered Crawler. All right, final pack of the first box. Can't really complain about these pulls. They've been pretty awesome. Can we get some last box, pack of the box magic? Here we go. Penguin. Chimera Tech Mega Fleet. That is a nice card. I think it's worth about a dollar. That's pretty solid. So first box down. Let's go over what we did get. We got pretty much fire. Like that was awesome. Invocation. We got Numeron Wall. We got a Chaos Ember Dragon. Numeron Calling and Numeron Network. So that was an extremely good first box. Let's get rid of this box. 
and go on to the next one. Can this one contain? We've already pulled crazy. Can it contain insane? Wow. Contain insane. Let's see. I'm desperately hoping so. Maybe not desperately. That's a little, a little much. <laughs> okay, I'm definitely hoping. How about that? Okay. Here we go. 24 more packs. Our 20th box of this set. I've never opened 20 boxes of a single set before. Yeah, I've and yeah, that's that's kind of crazy. This is the most boxes I've ever opened of one set. I mean 10 10k dragon. We pulled it and I still am opening the set. That's how awesome it is. Powered crawler. Maybe we can pull another Chaos Ember Dragon. Maybe we can pull a Utopia. That would be the dream right now. Pull the Utopia. Appliancer. Numeron Calling. Another another decent card. I will take that. Secret Rare. This one went down to about three, four bucks. But still a solid card. It was originally a lot higher. But as you guys know, the prices on this set went way down. Because they were all really high. The set would be insane if they were also worth that much. Fireflint Lady. Specimen Inspection Secret Rare. Alright, so I don't know. I don't know how Rhyme Style is doing, but it's gonna be pretty tough. At least we can maybe we can get a win and finally get ourselves on the board in the pack battle. Here we go. Number S39, is that our first one? What does the S stand for again? It's like I can't remember. But uh is that our first one? Let me know if we've pulled one of those guys. I don't remember pulling one, unless I passed over it. It's possible I have done that before. Chaos Neos. Don't remind me of glass, please. Artifact Ignition. Okay. Next pack. Here we go. Make sure you guys go check out that case opening when we open the whole case. And we got the fire. Yeah, it'll be up there in the eye. Go check it out. Here we go. Fire Flint Lady. Nice. A Dark Spell Regeneration. That one's cut a little weird on the left. Alright, this box has been a little slower. We've had some decent cards, but a little slower than the other one. Here we go. Brotherhood Cross Sheep, our first one. And a Sunya, our first Sunya. That is nice. I'm sleeping up Sunya, and I didn't sleep up Cross Sheep. And Cross Sheep's like double, so... Yeah, I just uh, didn't have enough hands. Okay, here we go. Next pack. Can it be the Fire Utopia? Come on. Number two, and Skullgar. This box is uh, this box is just waiting. It's waiting to give us the absolute epic pull at the very end. Can we pull the best card in the set, Armored White Bear, or the second best card in the set, Utopia? Either one. Imagine if we pull two Chaos Ember Dragons, that'd be crazy because those are like two, three per case. I only pulled three in my case, so. Oh, whoa. there we go. Chimera Tech Mega Fleet. That's our third one of those. That is a play set. Of Mega Fleet Dragons. Here we go. We got the Chaos Emperor artwork. Can it give us some luck? I really like how they did the multiple artworks on the packs. That's really cool. I hope they keep doing that. It's like uh, Pokemon's been doing it, but uh, it looks even cooler with Yu-Gi-Oh. Oh, there we go. Future Slash. It's just nice to see multiple cards from the set being put on the artworks. It's a lot more interesting. Here we go. Powered Crawler. We keep getting that guy. All right, this this set is this has definitely been a weaker box. Definitely a weaker box. Maybe we can pull like a network to help give us some support in this box. Here we go. Come on, Numeron Wall, Fossil Warrior Skull Knight. Okay, there is a nice card. That is a good pull, Fossil Warrior Skull Knight. That's some good value. Definitely nice. Okay, this box is looking decent now. Definitely looking decent. Here we go. Can we pull something else good? A network would be great. Fossil Dragon Skullgar. We're down to the last few packs. I don't know if we'll continue to search for Utopia after this because the boxes are expensive, the new set's coming out, all that stuff. So let me know if you guys would want to see it. Skullgaios. All right. Come on. Utopia. Here we go. Oh, oh, lion. Oh, oh, lion. What is this? Oh, oh. Fossil fusion. Secret rare. Okay. Is it going to be in the last few packs? I will lose my mind if it is. I will lose it. Raw disciple. Medolce Angeli. Another nice secret rare. 
Medolce and Jelly. We've got a couple of those. Is that two in the two boxes? So I know those aren't that easy to pull. Or at least for me, it seems like it. Here we go. High rate draw. Secret rare. Okay, what are we down to? Let's get this box out of the way. We need the luck. We have six packs remaining. Is that right? No. Yeah, yeah, six. Six packs remaining, guys. Actually, let's save the Chaos Emperor Dragons for the end. Let's go with the Judgment Dragon guy, whatever his name is. Here, we've only pulled one of this guy. Here we go. Galaxy Worm. I thought we just pulled another one. Glacial Beast, Iceberg Narwhal. Next pack. We haven't pulled any of this guy. The Link Monster? All right, I can't remember what his name is. Numero on Wall, Book of Moon, Danger Jackalope, not a bad secret. Yeah, I wonder where that card is. This is the Link one, or is it Dark Armed the Xyz monster? I can't remember. It's one of the two. We haven't pulled either of them, so. Here we go. Last, what? Four packs. Secure Gardener. Elemental Hero. A Scary Dow. Three packs left. Give us the fire. Okay. Third to last pack. Let's pull something epic. Here we go. Glacial Beast Blizzard Wolf. We're down to the last two Chaos Emperor Dragon packs. Whew. Let's go, guys. Let's do this. Let's pull something insane. Here we go. Go, your Guardian. Fossil Warrior Skullbone. It comes down to this. The final pack. So far, we've done really well. Make sure you guys check out Rhyme Style's video and see if he beat us in this epic pack battle. Hopefully, we can finally get a win after three tries. Here we go. Plants are Laundry Dragon. Plants are Socket Roll. Boost Warrior. Number four, Numeron Gate. And hit the like button for luck, guys. <laughs> there's our friend. We didn't pull him the whole day. No, Chaos number 92. Okay, there's a secret. Let's go over what we did get. All right. We pulled one, two, three Book of Moons playset. We got a one, two, three, four Numeron Walls. We got one, number S39, Utopia of the Lightning. One, two, three. Fire Flint Ladies, one, two, Mega Phantom Beast O Lions. We got one Cross Sheep. We got an Art Artifact Sanctum. Two Danger Jackalopes, one Sunya, a Fossil Fusion, two Medolce Angeli, three Chimera Tech Mega Fleet Dragons, one Judgment of Judgment the Dragon of Heaven, two Numeron Callings, one Fossil Warrior Skull Knight, one Numeron Network, one Invocation, and one chaos emperor dragon so overall a pretty decent opening we did pretty well actually pulling a chaos emperor dragon we didn't get the utopia this time maybe we will in the future let me know if you guys want to see that make sure you check out rhyme styles video it'll be up here in the eye or in the description wherever i end up putting either down there or up there something like that make sure you guys go check it out see if he beat us or if we finally pulled out a win make sure you guys are rooting me on all right i'll see you guys later thanks for watching peace Elemental Hero, Dark Bright, Boom! Oh, <laughs>